Hey team, today we're going to talk about Storybook JS. We're going to talk about what it is and how you can use it to get started with a component system of your own. I'm Colby Fayok, and if this is your first time here, make sure you hit subscribe below for future updates. Storybook is a tool that allows you to quickly create UI systems for your project. Using your favorite UI framework like React, Vue, or Angular, it gives you a focused way to both build and work on your components. To get started, we're going to use Create React App to create a new React App where we're going to install Storybook. So to get started, I'm going to create a new React App called My Storybook demo. And once that's installed, we can CD to it and we can start our server. And we have our basic React app. So getting started with Storybook and a React app is actually really easy because if you use a pretty standard way of installing a React app, you can actually use their init script with, which installs it for you. So after we kill our server, we can actually just run that command inside of our project. And after it's done, it's going to give you a new command that we can run to get it started with our Storybook. So let's run that yarn Storybook. And once it's done building the actual project, it's going to get started on your local host for you, similar to what Create React would do. And we now have our new Storybook. So the first thing you'll notice is a little welcome page. That's really just a little way to introduce you to the project. The meat of it is this button component where it's actually an example of a component that we're going to use to build. If we actually look at this in our code, we can see that under our source directory, it created a new one called stories, which is where we see both that welcome one and our new button. With our button, this is just a demo component. So we're going to actually want to make our own. So the first thing we want to do is create a new directory under source called components. And then under components, let's create a new one called button. And then under button, let's create an index.js file. This index file is really just going to serve as a way that we can easily reference our button without having to say button and then button again. So we're just going to simply export the default from our local button file, which we'll create now. So in addition, we're going to also create that button file called button.js, where here I'm just going to put in a basic button, which creates a new button element. It adds a class of button, it passes through the children, and then simply spreads the rest of the different props that we pass in right onto the button element. Now, if we go back to our button story, we can update that import. We can remove that and then say import button from components button and hit save. And if we look back at our button, we'll notice that it's not anything super special, but it's now using the browser defaults, which says that it's our button since we didn't apply any styles to it. Now, another cool thing that you'll notice is since it has the event handlers, we can click it and it actually logs in our different actions. So in this particular instance, it's showing the event. You can see this in the story code where on the button, we provide an on click with the action that comes from the storybook add on actions and then fires the clicked. So now we have our button component. How can we style it and make it our own? Inside our button directory, we're going to create a new file called button.css. And inside our button.js file, we're going to actually import that. And now if we go to our button.css file, we can say the button class and let's call the background color blue violet. And if we open up our browser, we can see that inside our story, we already have that button at our color. I'm going to add a few more like the color is white. Let's say border none. And how about padding 0.8 EM, 1 EM, and let's say border radius 0.2 rem. And again, if we look at our button, we can see now that it has the styles and it still has that click action that we had before. Now, the cool thing is this is really just for where we want to do focused development of our button. So how can we actually use that in our app? In our code, though, we can open up app.js, which is for our create react app, import button from components button and we can take that button and let's replace that link with hello storybook Hit save and once it refreshes in our browser we can now see our new button component so that wasn't too bad right let's create another component to kind of get a good feel of that process in our code under components let's create a new one called header and similar to before we're going to create an index.js file we're going to export the default from header. Inside header, we're also going to create header.js. And in that file, we're going to paste our code, which is really just another simple React component. We have our header, where we're going to use an h2 for this particular instance with the class name of header, and we're going to pass through our children. Similar to before, let's create a header.css file. Here, we'll paste in some styles, which we're setting the font family to sans serif. 
staying the color to blue violet as, as well as a box shadow. We're gonna give it a nice border of aqua and add some padding just to space that out a little bit and make it slightly bigger. Inside our header component, we wanna import that file again, header.css. And once we start back up our storybook server, you'll notice that it's actually not there yet. So the reason is because we haven't actually created a story. So let's do that now. To create a story, let's just clone the one that we had before. So let's take the button one and click duplicate. Let's call it to header.stories.js. So we need to keep it with stories so that Storybook can actually find that file. Inside that, we're gonna just replace all the button components with our header. So let's replace all that. Since we're not actually using the on-click events, let's remove that. And now that we have our actual story file for our header, we can open and back up Storybook and then we'll see our header component over there with our new header. Now again, to use that, we can start back up our Create React App server. Inside our code, we wanna import that header now similar to our button, and we'll use it. We can put it on top of that logo. Let's say hello world this time. And if we open back up our app, we can see our new hello world header. The cool thing about Storybook is this scales really well. So Lonely Planet, for instance, has this storybook called Backpack UI, where they have a bunch of their different components, like they have a card, and they have different variations of that card that they can easily develop and then integrate into their website. In addition to the standard features, Storybook has a bunch of add-ons that do some really cool things. Like we already saw actions, but there's also source, which lets you actually see the source of that story. So somebody can easily get an idea of how to implement those different components. So if you followed along with me, you learned how to add Storybook to your Create React app. We also started off by learning how to add two components, a button and a header. Storybook is a great way to both work on and modify the different components of your application in a really focused way. If you like this video, make sure you hit thumbs up and subscribe for future updates. Thanks for watching.